Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to another video. Uh, I know I haven't done one of these for quite a while, in fact, many, many months. Um, there's just simply not enough hours in the day sometimes to do these things that I want to do. Um, but I found some time to do this one. Uh, so I thought I'd just fill everyone in on what I've been up to, because um, I've pretty much done most of my racing this year now. Um, and then kind of, plans going forward. Um, so the first thing you'll probably see is the distinct lack of a supercar in the garage. Um, so yeah, unfortunately, you know, that, that class is super expensive um, and you know, life things happen. And yeah, unfortunately I had to let that one go, um, which is a real shame because I did enjoy doing that one, but at least I got to do it. I got to do the division one class, even though it was the cup class, you know, I, I, I got to drive um, those vehicles that, you know, I consider to be one of the, one of the best things you can race on the planet, basically. Um, so I was really, really pleased with that. We got it running, sorted, lovely. It ran so well. Um, we went to Donington and we had an absolutely fantastic meeting. Um, we actually won the Division 1 Cup there. Um, so I managed to get a win in the supercar in the Division 1 at my home track where I basically spent my childhood. Um, so yeah, that was, a, that was really special. Great to do it with my family as well. Um, and yeah, absolutely love that. But, you know, maybe we'll be back in a few years maybe sooner you know who knows who knows what happens but yeah there is uh, no supercar now unfortunately but you know someone else is going to enjoy that now so that's that um in the meantime as well obviously i'm used to doing the uh, air cooled air cooled stuff and um, but i actually began my 100cc foray um with the water cools um, now this is a class that's kind of took off a bit over like the last year and um, a few people have pushed it and um, a couple of politics things haven't have got in the way a little bit um, but you know hopefully hopefully this is building and yeah this is kind of where I began so I bought one of these TMs uh, a long 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 time ago now probably well over 10 years and I used to take that around Fulbeck, PFI, Wilton Mill um, and it just used to run and run and run and run probably way more than it should have really considering the kind of when the conrods and these need replacing and stuff like that you know um, they don't tend to last as long but that's the, that's the difference I've found between the air cooled and the water cooled these water cooled do seem to go longer and they do seem to be a bit more reliable which is why I like them plus obviously the package is so small everything just fits really nicely so where the air cords are a, a big thing, these just tend to fit quite nicely. Yes, you've got the extra radiator and, you know, everything like that. But, you know, I, I, I actually like the look of them. I think the radiator on it makes them look better. Um, but yeah, so we've been doing the LC class um, between F100 and Retro Racer. Um, so we actually managed to win the O plate at Kim Bolton. And then we won the SC plate as well. Um, at Risington, no, not yeah, Risington. That was it. Um, so we also got that as well. So I should probably run these at some point. Um, but yeah, we're um, we're doing that. So obviously we've got the got the two arrows built up, the AX8, and then the AX6 as well. Um, so obviously all all TM on the arrows, and these have been really really good absolutely love these carts as probably everyone knows um i think they they drew drive so well obviously i've got my heron back here which i like i love that to death that's what i've won most things on that one um but i actually think these arrows are better um i think i think they're a really really good chassis um then the other thing i did was rescue this one um, so this is a Cosmic T4, very nice chassis, um, in really good condition to be honest, um, not too bad at all, done some things to it, but I'll explain that in a minute. Um, so yeah, I rescued that all the way from Eli, Ely, out northeast way, 
um, for 250 quid with a GX200 on it. Um, the little cadet engine thing, or the Procore ones, I think they use them in those now. Um, so yeah, that was a bit of a steal, I thought. Um, so I went and picked that up. Um, basically wanted it for the chassis. Um, so I listed the engine for sale and that went for 200 quid. So I got the Cosmic for 50 quid, um, which, you know, that's a, that's not to be sniffed at. So it pretty much came like this, minus obviously the radiator and the engine and ciliaries. Um, so yeah, I can't, I can't fault that. So there were a few things with it. The brakes were absolutely shot. So they needed a complete overhaul so pistons in here all completely brand new um and then this caliper i've never had anything as hard as this to sort um getting the pistons in out of there and um, they must have been seized in it solid for about i don't even know a long time a fair few years um so i had to get all that apart soak all of those in WD try and get them out and actually the only thing that would actually get them out was connecting the whole system back up and getting my foot on the pedal on here and giving it as much pressure as I could and then the pistons just slowly 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 started to move so I've never ever had brakes as bad as that and um, so then I replaced all the seals cleaned the the bores up and um, put new pistons in new pads and I've also put a new disc on as well um, because I'm very particular about the brakes um, so you didn't really have to do this but I've put a brand new brand new disc on there as well so had to go all through the brakes and now hopefully we're at Fullbeck um, this weekend with the last retro race around so hopefully they they work um, there and I've got some brake performance um, the Tony car brakes are pretty renowned for not having a lot of feel so gonna gonna see i did test this at risenton um a few weeks ago and they're all right they're not perfect so hopefully these last few changes um just help that a bit um the other thing as well so this will be hard to see but in there somebody had taken off with a grinder the radiator bracket and um, so i've bought some of the little tabs and somebody in my family um, welded that back on for me which was great and then primed it and painted it as well and then similar actually here this will be hard to see as well but down here where the Honda engine was on it it gouged a great big um, well just a great big gouge in there really and it took lots of the metal away so we filled that again um, and then primed and painted that as well so it's just a few things to sort but apart from that honestly the chassis drives fantastically it's a really 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 nice chassis to drive and i didn't like the other tony cars that i've had so i've had a couple of extremes small and middle triangle um and i didn't like them but this i actually think if it gets the braking sorted with that i think it's every bit as good as these um so yeah time will time will tell on that and test him um the other thing as well so a while ago even before i got all the supercar and everything like that um i don't know if people remember alan dove from Cartim one doing his like bargain cart thing for like a car under like 650 or 600 quid or whatever um but i've realized i've accidentally done that <laughs> so obviously with the cosmic being 250 quid and then selling the uh the engine for 200 quid makes that 50 quid um, and then actually the engine on here this one uh, was from Poland and this was 450 pounds shipped with a carb and exhaust so what's that 500 quid so that's a bargain so I'll do a video um, on that at some point um, well, I don't know, we'll go straight in or something like that. Um, I've got a set of rims with it as well, so it's a set of rims in here somewhere that came with the Cosmic. Um, so I'll set this Cosmic up just as kind of how it came, you know, and these prove that these bargains are still out there. You know, you can get on these grids or just, you know, hobby cart in a fantastic package, you know, like these, you know, and have some fun. 
Um, so this was this was the carb. If my screen works. So this is a Triton Vamec M1. Um, it's completely dead, so it obviously needs a rebuild kit in it, but they're pretty inexpensive. Um, so that's the carb that came with it. And then down here is an exhaust that's a little bit roping. So this is the exhaust that it came with as well. So it's runnable, but not something I'd probably race on, for example. Um, so yeah, there's there's a bargain cart package for not a lot of money that's ready to run. Um, so yeah, we'll do a we'll do a video on that at some point. So that'll be fun, maybe over the winter. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, regarding next year, I'd like to do a bit more of this, um, but it all it all depends on what happens. Um, the other thing I don't know, I was planning to probably do. I don't know if it's going to happen in this country. There's not really been a massive announcement, but there's the OKN stuff, um, which I don't know whether Motorsport UK are going to bring in here. I think they were. Whether they follow through with it, that's Motorsport UK for you. But yeah, we'll. Uh, We'll see what happens with that, so there's that. So yeah, um, not too sure at the minute, but obviously I've enjoyed racing these, so I'll keep doing that as well. And yeah, I'll try and do a few more videos. I'll try and do a video from Fullbeck at Retro Racer. I'm doing the three days, so hopefully everything won't be um, as manic where I can't do any recording and stuff like that, because I'd actually like to do some recording at the track. I think that'd be quite insightful. Um, and the other thing as well, hopefully I'll probably record that tonight as well. Um, I'm going to do a video on the car setup software that I've created. Because um, quite a few of you have been asking for that. Um, and I just, I just haven't got around to it. Um, but I've done a major, major update on it that I've just released last night. So yeah, I'll go through that. So yeah, thank you for watching guys. Um, keep updated. Um, subscribe to me if you find this interesting. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video.